Mac fans, this one's for you. If you're tired of playing the same old mobile-based subscription games in Apple Arcade, and you're looking for a console-quality gaming challenge on your Mac, you're in the right place. You're about to learn how to use the RPCS3 emulator on your Intel or even Silicon M1 Mac to play your favorite PlayStation 3 games through emulation. Come on, I'll show you how it's done. And be sure to stick around to the end of the video for an important bonus tip that you don't want to miss. This is the official RPCS3 website. This is normally the part of the video where I say scroll down to the download link and click to get the download. But here's the thing, it's not actually here on the official page. Take a look here. If you try to grab the download from the official RPCS3 website, you'll find that it's unavailable. So what's a PS3 fan to do? Download the unofficial version. It's hosted at the Citra CI website linked in the description below. CI stands for Continuous Integration. This one download works with both Intel-based Macs and Silicon M1-based Macs. Scroll down and click on the most recent asset link. It'll be directly beneath the green bar graph. You'll find a listing of all the available versions of RPCS3 here. Locate the version for Mac OS and click on it. This takes you to a web page for what are called artifacts. This is the page that contains the disk image file to install the emulator. Scroll down on this page until you see the listing for the word artifact in singular form with no S on the end. Click on it and you'll see a listing for artifacts, plural form, with an S on the end. Click on artifacts and the disk image file will be revealed. All of this lengthy process is not meant to complicate the download, it's meant to make sure that you get the absolute most up-to-date version of the emulator. Click the DMG file shown here, and when prompted, click Allow. This will download the installer to the Downloads folder on your Mac. Along with downloading the emulator, you'll also need to download the official firmware for PlayStation 3. It's hosted on the Sony website and linked for you in the description below. Scroll down on this page until you see the button that says Download PS3 Update. Click the blue button to start the download, and when prompted by your Mac, click Allow. This will download the official PS3 firmware into the Downloads folder on your Mac. You should have the following things available to you in your Downloads folder. First, the ps 3 updatepup file, the emulator disk image, and in this case I have an ISO game already pre-staged here. The first thing you'll need to do with these files is install the emulator itself. Double click on the .dmg image file that you just downloaded. To install the emulator to your Mac, simply drag and drop the RPCS3 icon directly into the Applications folder as it's represented here in the disk image. Back on your Mac desktop, right click on the disk image and eject it as you no longer need it. To start the RPCS3 application, navigate to Finder and click on it. Scroll down through the list of icons until you see the big three representing RPCS3. But don't double click on it to open it. Press and hold the control key on your keyboard, right click, and then select open from the list of drop down choices. This will open up a pop up menu asking you to confirm whether or not you want to open the software for the first time. Click open to continue. The first time you run the emulator, you'll need to click two check boxes. The first one says, I have read the quick start guide and the second one says do not show again. Once you have these two check boxes clicked, slide over to continue and click on it. Each time you run the emulator, you'll get a pop-up message that you're running an experimental build. To continue, click on the yes button in the bottom right corner. This is the main menu interface for RPCS3. It's a lot like the Millennium Falcon. She may not look like much, but she's got it where it counts. Let's install the PlayStation 3 firmware into RPCS3. Click on file, come down to install firmware and click on it. From the list of folder choices, select downloads and if prompted, grant access. Inside the downloads folder, locate the ps 3 updatepup file and double click on it. You'll see a pop-up message the firmware is being installed and you should get a message once it's successfully completed. Click the blue OK button to continue. Once you have the firmware installed, the system will need to do what's called compiling PPU modules. This only takes a couple of minutes. You'll have a much more enjoyable gaming experience in RPCS3 if you pair a controller with it. You can pair any compatible Bluetooth controller with your Mac or even a DualShock 4, which is what I'm going to use in this case. To pair your Bluetooth controller, access your Bluetooth settings on your Mac either from the system tray at the top or from system preferences from the Apple logo. Put your controller of choice in Bluetooth pairing mode and you'll see it pop up in the list of available devices. Click the connect button next to your controller name to pair it. 
Once the controller name turns blue, you'll know it's connected. Then you can simply go up to your system settings and close out Bluetooth preferences. Go back down to your dock, find the RPCS3 icon, and maximize the program. You'll need to tell RPCS3 you want to use your newly paired controller. Go to the game controller icon that says pads underneath it and click on it. Take a look at the top left corner of this pop-up window. See how it's set to using keyboard controls by default? Click on it, and from the list of drop-down choices, select your Bluetooth controller. In this case, it's a DualShock 4 controller. Then navigate down to the bottom right corner of the options window for controls and click on the blue save button to lock in your changes. You're now ready to load your games and start playing, but I need to point out something very important about using ISO files, because if you try to load ISO files directly into the system, you're going to run into a problem. To load your game content, go to File and select Add Games. Have a close look at this. What you'll find is that the ISO file is grayed out. You can't load it directly into the emulator. Here's what you need to do to fix this. First, cancel out of the Add Games window. Minimize RPCS3 and then open up Finder to access your Downloads folder. Double click on the ISO file that you want to extract the files from to use an RPCS3. Minimize the Finder window to access the desktop of your Mac. You'll find that the ISO has been mounted as a DMG file on your Mac desktop. To access its contents, double click on it. The RPCS3 emulator is going to need everything that's inside that disk image in order for the game to load correctly. The easiest way to do this is just drag to highlight all of it, right click, and select copy. Close out the window with the contents from the disk image. Navigate to a folder of your choice on your Mac where you want to store this content. In this case, I'm just going to go right back in the downloads folder for convenience sake. You can either create a new folder here and copy and paste those contents there, or in this case, I'm just going to put them directly in the downloads folder for convenience sake. And if you already have that ISO file backed up somewhere else, and you probably should, you can delete it from the Downloads folder, as the emulator can't read it anyway. Close out the Finder window to return to the Mac desktop. Then you can right-click on that disk image and eject it, as you're not going to need it any longer. Go back to the RPCS3 icon in the dock and click to maximize RPCS3 again. Now that the ISO file's been taken care of, you can load the game into the emulator. Go back up to File, Scroll down to Add Games, and click on it. To add games to the RPCS3 library, you just have to give it the general folder location where they're located. In this case, it's just the Downloads folder. Select the folder where your games are located, and click on Open. As you can see here, Tron Evolution has been added to the list of games ready to launch in RPCS3. To launch the game of your choice, double-click on it. For each new game you launch in RPCS3, it will have to take a few minutes to compile what are called PPU modules. And only the first time you launch a game in RPCS3, it's going to ask for permission to access accessibility features on the Mac. Click the Open System Preferences button. There's a padlock in the bottom left corner. Click on it, and when prompted, either enter Touch ID or your password is required. Then you can go up to RPCS3 in the Accessibility listings and click the checkbox to the left of it. Finally, click the padlock to lock in your changes. Once this is done, close out System Preferences. Your game should get back to the business of compiling those PPU modules. If it doesn't, just restart RPCS3 and relaunch the game. RPCS3 will then install any required system files that the game might have downloaded online or had on the original disk image. Once this is done, your game will fire up and run just like it was installed on a real PS3. Hey, remember earlier in the video I mentioned there was going to be a bonus tip at the end? Well, here it is. For some games, the emulator is going to need specific settings in order to optimize performance. And the RPCS3 wiki is the best place to get this information. Search for your game by title, then click on Search to get the search results listings. Come down to the Page Titles section and locate the name of the game that you've been searching for, in this case, Demon Souls. Click the game title name and you'll find listings for any specific settings that the emulator requires in order to optimize game performance. Getting PS3 content running on your Mac is a great way to get console quality games installed and running. But it's really just the beginning, and if you skip this important next step, you're going to miss out on tens of thousands of console quality games you could be playing on your Mac right now. Go ahead, click the video. I'll see you over there.